Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. This week we're gonna take Jewel back over to see Dr. Zoe at Countryside Veterinary Services. And Zoe's gonna do an ultrasound on her. Do a pre-pregnancy ultrasound. I'm sure that she has been bred numerous times because she's an Amish horse and the Amish do not like to leave their horses unbred. They love to breed them year after year to replenish their stock or sell the offspring. So she's open right now, meaning that she's not pregnant. And I'm sure that she can probably conceive, but rather than throw good stud money at her, we're going to do an ultrasound and just make sure that she doesn't have any cysts on her ovaries or cancer or masses or any abnormalities that would keep her from getting pregnant. So it's just a cheap insurance policy. So we're gonna load her up real quick and run her over there and we'll see you at Zoe's. All right, hey everybody, I'm Dr. Zoe. Welcome back to Countryside. Uh, this is Jewel. We're gonna be ultrasounding her uterus and ovaries today to see where she's at in her cycle and see if she's kind of come back from the winter yet um after they don't mares don't typically cycle over the winter time they go into a period that we call anestrus um and then in the springtime when the daytime starts getting longer and longer they'll start to cycle again so we're just going to cruise around and see what she's got a big uterus she's a big girl so so there is part of her uterine body. Let's see if I can adjust it a little bit here because you can see better on your screen. There you go. So yeah, that's her uterine body. She's got a little bit of edema there, which is pretty normal. She's, I estimate, she's probably gonna be cycling. So there is her left uterine horn. I'm gonna cruise up to the top. She is huge. Can you just a second here? And that is her left ovary. And it is also huge. Oops. She is definitely cycling. So we have a couple of what I would call medium follicles for her. We can measure a few of those. We'll measure that. We'll come back and measure those in a minute here. And let's cruise over to the right. Now this is her right uterine horn. And her right ovary is tucked over here in the way corner. She's so tall. There we go. So yeah, I'd say her left ovary is much more active than her right. She's got a CA on that ovary right there. What is a CA? A corpus albicans. It's where she had already ovulated. It's kind of like a... Like in past years or no, this year? No, like in, the, in her last cycle or two. Within the last month or two. So yeah, some more small follicles there. And I'm going to be just on the lookout for other things like cysts. <clears throat> so far, everything looks pretty good. You have a tail for a shoulder. <laughs> An older mare like her, it's not uncommon to find cysts, which I think she's got one right there. You can see that? That little black circle. My little cyst. And is that on the ovary? Mm, no, that is in her uterine body. More on the, a little bit more on the left side there. It's 
it's not uncommon. Just, but it's, I get concerned when I start to see a bunch of food. And she does have a little bit of fluid in her uterus, which is fine. It also can be very normal. prevent her from pregnancy? If there's a lot of them, if they're big, things like that. Let's measure some of these follicles here. How many follicles are there? Three? Hmm, let's see. We've got one here, but that's about a So black on ultrasound is fluid. And so you can say that's probably the biggest one is about a 35. So yeah, she's definitely cycling. The other ones I would call mediums. So yeah, that one, see that big guy? She's what is a follicle exactly? So a follicle actually is um, basically like, you can think of like a pimple on the ovary and the egg lives inside of that. So a mare will usually ovulate one egg and at a time per cycle. And sometimes you get two, um, which would be twins, which is not ideal in mares. So it can be dangerous, but yeah, so the egg will come out of that. This follicle, it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and then it'll finally pop. And when it pops, that egg will travel down into the reproductive tract. So see the horn is right there. This right here, the circular structure, that is her uterine horn. You see how the horn gets smaller and smaller and smaller when I get up closer to the ovary? Mm -hmm. And then you find the ovary itself. And there it is, back, back, back. That is your horn. It travels down the horn into the uterine body and that's where it like the, the sperm will go up the horn and um, fertilization will occur when the sperm meets the egg. So, so is there an egg in each ovary or just one egg in one ovary? Usually there is one egg that, so her body will select, say that big follicle right there to ovulate. And that, so per ovulation, they release an egg. And she usually will only ovulate one big follicle at a time. So all these other little ones, all of those will regress. They'll go away. Those are never going to ovulate. The body, the body looks like it has selected that one right there. It'll pick one and it'll just get bigger and bigger. And see these other little ones, they'll just kind of go away. And then each, each cycle, they get a new crop of follicles. And you measured that one at 35, and it's 35 what? Millimeters? Millimeters, so? yep. Millimeters? Her, but I would estimate her, yeah, we can check it again. I would estimate she's probably going to ovulate somewhere at least, at least at a 45. So, let's take the average here. Okay, so maybe this one is actually a little bigger. I got it bigger on this image. So maybe closer to a 40, actually, but I think it's still yet to get a little bit bigger for her because she's such a big horse she'll probably ovulate a pretty big one but yeah everything else in this reproductive tract looks pretty good to me i am not super concerned i think this looks like a uterus that can hold a baby i think you're correct i think she's had falls before because her reproductive tract is very large <laughs> very spread out. That's usually common in mares that have had multiple pregnancies before. This is her right ovary here. 
There's a lot more, it looks like there's a lot more going on in the right ovary. However, all of these little follicles are much smaller. Does that make sense? And they'll just reabsorb back mm -hmm. into the body. Yeah, they'll regress. And then she'll get a whole new crop of them. Yep, see how there's just, they're all just kind of small to medium sized. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not much there. Okay, and that's about it. Well, that went pretty good. Now Zoe's gonna tell us what we're gonna do from this point forward because she saw some stuff in there and she's just gonna tell us where to go from here. All right, so it looks like Jewel is definitely cycling. She uh, noticed that the days were getting longer. She's got a big follicle on her left ovary. Um, so we are gonna recheck her again in two weeks and see what that, you know, see what the ovaries are looking like and see if she's got any more edema in her uterus. Um, she did have two intrauterine cysts, but at this point I don't think they're gonna cause an issue, but um, we're just gonna keep an eye on those and um, just watch her throughout the rest of her cycle. We're trying to get her ready for breeding in May. I think that's gonna do it for this week. And as David always says, remember who you are, be kind to those around you and stand up for what you believe in.